So these are the most recent safe viewing glasses so that I can safely view the eclipse. We have these eclipse glasses. Those really are safe solar viewing glasses. I can't see anything right now. <laughs> so they are a special type of film. It's not the same as, a, as sunglasses. They are very, very specifically designed to be able to look at the sun, the everyday sun, and see it safely. These simple, rather goofy looking glasses will protect your eyes during a solar eclipse. There's two main ways they can do that, glasses or card. The card may be a safer bet for the kiddos. As a card, it's a little bit safer for uh, for smaller kids who maybe will stare at the sun while they put on glasses. Whether glasses or cards, they need to be used throughout the eclipse. With one exception. During a total eclipse, during that darkness period where the sun is completely covered, it's actually safe to remove glasses. So it's very important that only during totality can you take those glasses off. After totality, the glasses or cards need to go back on to protect your eyes. It can, I mean, blind you if you stare at it too long, basically just burn your retinas. And there are DIY options to view the eclipse if you don't have glasses or cards. You want to use something called a pinhole projector, uh, and for that you can even take a, a card and poke a hole in it, or you can use your fingers. That, that's a fun method, literally just going like this. And if you look through it, you can actually see the crescents from the sun projected on the ground, anything like that. Even with DIY projects, safety first. If you do make a pinhole projector, one thing that is really important is to not look at the sun through the pinhole projector. That projection has to be on a different surface. With these simple tips, your whole family can safely enjoy this spectacular total solar eclipse.